Bismillahirrahmanirrahim uh, Welcome to Innova Right now we will demonstrate the MCC portion Windows XP professional paper In this paper we will discuss the basic uh, topics of Windows XP installation and management Right now I have the Windows XP default desktop uh, We can customize this desktop by changing settings and parameters and we would like to discuss uh, some portions say like disk management and computer management and some sort of other policies computer policies local policies so in the sections we will discuss uh, most of the sections of the windows xp management uh, right now uh, i would like to start from the default taskbar and the desktop settings so this section is called the taskbar right now and in the taskbar we have several portions like uh, this portion is the start menu if you click this start menu you will see a start menu as having some options to the programs and turn off the computer and log off the user and stuff like that this section is called quick launch where you will see some icons programs and applications uh, for easy access uh, and the section is called system try in which you see some programs running in the background and this is the clock system clock area if you have the pointer for a while and this so uh, if you just uh, have a look at this area this is the, the clock that you see on your desktop so if you want to customize this default layout you can customize it by changing some parameters for example uh, if you just click right on the taskbar you will see uh, properties in there so go to properties so you will see a window uh, actually displaying some parameters for the taskbar let's uh, hide inactive icons as you see in here the inactive programs will be disappeared on the system trash section and if you just have a look at this uh, show the clock so it will show the clock um, by clicking this option you can further customize the taskbar by clicking the customize button and have some parameters set here say for example uh, I have this uh, antivirus software updation so if you just click always hide or always show or hide when inactive so it's a kind of uh, parameters that I can set for any icon any program running in the background or I can set to restore defaults if I want uh, similarly uh, I can further customize the taskbar options like say lock the taskbar if you click this option the taskbar will be actually locked uh, for any sort of uh, modifications like you cannot move the taskbar to any other location let's say if I uncheck this one and then click on the apply and ok so now I can actually move the taskbar to some other location just click and drag it to some other location and if you want you can move it to any location on the screen you want and let's say if you just type lock the task the taskbar will be then fixed you cannot move it to any location because it's right now fixed on this uh, specific location Similarly, you can just say auto hide the task, but just click this option and apply it. Okay, so the taskbar will be actually like able to auto hide. If the taskbar is not in use, you will have more area for your Windows sections. For example, if I just open some program like my computer, so I have more area uh, on my desktop. If I move the cursor in here, then I can see the taskbar. Uh, as needed similarly just uh, restore it to the previous settings 
So I will uncheck this one. Then keep the taskbar on top of the other windows. If you click this one, the taskbar will remain on top of all other windows open on your desktop. And you can, if you just click this uh, group similar taskbar buttons, so actually all the open programs, like say in this, this button, all similar applications of this form will be actually grouped in here. And if I open any other application like Internet Explorer, so it will be grouped under this one. Say, for example, if I open a few browsers, uh, so I will see a window of uh, them in here. It will group automatically similar applications into same uh, similar button like this one. Now you see three settings for the Explorer. So it's a one button. So actually, you can have more area on your uh, taskbar for more applications in this scenario. Now, if you just uncheck this option. If you uncheck this option and apply it back, then you see, you see all of them on one taskbar having multiple buttons for the similar applications. So in this case, they are not in a single group. They are actually like uh, in ordinary form. So <coughs> now let's see if you want to customize uh, some other options like this is the quick launch and if you want to disable the quick launch from the start menu you can disable it now you see here there, there are no icons for the quick launch anymore if you click on the quick launch and show them so you can see them uh, anytime on the taskbar this one is the start menu tab in this tab you have two options one is the start menu this one is the default Windows XP style click apply and see OK so uh, you will see the default options for your taskbar this is the default layout uh, for your uh, Windows XP uh, desktop and if you want to have the previous one is it is in the Windows 98 and Windows 2000 uh, so you can have this uh, standard classic start menu as well you can customize the start menu by clicking the customize button and then add some more parameters for example this is the advanced start menu options like say display some sort of extra features or uh, say do not display the run option in the start menu this one is the run option so if you want to disable the run option from the start menu uncheck this option and click ok ok now you see there is no option for the run menu on the task and start menu so uh, you can customize these options by say enable drag and drop from the menu or say expand control panel like if you check this one and click OK OK you see the settings and control panel is now expandable so you can see the control panels icons in the start menu right now if you just uncheck the option again and then see you will see the default control panel in here so you have to click uh, in order to enter the control panel menu. This is the control panel window uh, and all icons are in here in this window. So uh, this was the basic start menu options. I personally uh, use the computer in the classic start menu option. That's why you have this one as a default in my uh, video training. Now, uh, I would like to customize the desktop area. Simply click right in the desktop. This is the pop-up menu. You say arrange, arrange icons by name, size, type, and modify that. So it's kind of parameters by which you can customize uh, the layout of these icons to be displayed on the desktop. So you can customize them, uh, let's say arrange by name, or say arrange by size so you see these icons and a uh, different layout on the desktop we have different arrangement say arrange by type let's say so these are different types of uh, icons in different format so you can actually arrange them in uh, these different options this is auto arrange 
automatically arrange the icons on the desktop. A line to grid is a kind of uh, logical grid on the desktop. Let's say if I want to move this uh, icon in here, I cannot move it because this will automatically align itself to the grid. So I cannot move it to any other location. But if I uncheck that option, then I can move the icon on the desktop almost to any location say in here in here or anywhere else you want and if you say align to grid so it will adjust itself automatically to the logical grid on your screen so and this is the show desktop icons this will show you the icons on the desktop lock the web items on the desktop and run desktop clean wizard it's a wizard that will actually uh, tell you any unused icon on the desktop so if you want to remove them you can remove them uh, from this wizard let's say I will run this wizard now welcome to the desktop clean wizard click next and this will say okay you have these options these icons on the desktop and they were last used on this date for example it has been used on this date this date this icon this icon and this icon has been never used on my desktop never so if you click next and say finish this one so it will remove this icon from your desktop so it, it can actually uh, make some more room for you uh, on the unused desktop now you have a new folder say unused desktop shortcuts so they will move in there for the future use if you want now this is the refresh button if you will click this one this will refresh your uh, computer to the default settings and these are actually for cut copy paste if you just uh, know how to cut or copy or something if you don't know what is cut copy paste I will give you a short demo later on uh, in the coming lectures and this is the new uh, option in the right click menu on the desktop and these are actually, uh, actually links to the file applications uh, in your computer for example if you want to have a new Word document so just click on the Microsoft Word document you have a new Word document name you can change the name say my file for example and then you can click on this file and have your application open there for you I'm just waiting for the application to start okay now it's like any other ordinary application file uh, MS Word document file just save it and just close it that's it so I just want to delete it I'll just drag it to the recycle bin and it goes in there so now I would like to customize the desktop with the classic settings simply click right select properties and from the Windows theme section, select Windows, Windows Classic and apply. Now change the desktop wallpaper to anyone you like for example I will browse to <coughs> so this is the default uh, wallpaper I have selected for this course it says Bismillahirrahmanirrahim this is my name Kifayatullah and uh, MCC 2003 video training in Nova Institute of Sciences and this is the telephone numbers and this is the website for Innova Institute right now we see the classic Windows theme <coughs> on this platform I will have some portions of this video training in a mix of uh, Pashto and English language. 
because uh, some of the students prefer to have the video lectures in Pashto. So I will try my best to deliver every important thing in Pashto and in English as well. Uh, unfortunately, uh, we won't have any section for Urdu uh, in these lectures. <coughs> so right now you see the icons on my desktop plus uh, custom build wallpaper displaying my name and the Bismillah Rahman Rahim uh, some other details about this course now the next thing I would like to discuss is actually the um, my computer settings because uh, if you want to customize your computer properties and settings so the best option to do that is actually to s customize the properties on my computer for example, if uh, I want to make some properties or see some properties or make some changes to the properties, so just click right on my computer, I will have a menu, this is called pop-up menu. This menu has open option in here, explore option in here, search option, manage option, these are the default ones and these are the custom added options like add to VLC or play with VLC media player or scan with AVG antivirus these are actually uh, custom softwares and this is the map network drive disconnect drive create shortcut delete rename and properties so uh, if you just select open this will actually open the windows explorer and will display you uh, all the medias uh, currently connected to your computer for example I have an icon for the floppy drive I have an icon for the local disk C drive backup uh, is the volume name for the D drive a CD DVD writer and some extra uh, logical uh, CD-ROMs the LG phone software and some other uh, stuff in there you might have only the floppy drive A, C, T, E. You might don't have these options in your computer. So if you just click on C drive, you will see the folders currently there in your computer on the C drive. The default folders when you install your Windows is actually the Windows folders itself, the program files, and the documents and settings folder. All the rest of these folders are custom folders uh, that I have put some programs in my C drive. So we have this uh, actually uh, kind of toolbar and file menu and edit menu, view favorites and tools and the help menu. So if you just have a look at the file, you'll see again the almost similar kind of uh, menu that you have seen when I click right on my computer. So open it again, the open you will see a window and say open any specific icon. This is the up or say backup up one level. For example, if I just go into this folder administrators, now here you see documents and settings, then administrators, and let's say I want to go to cookies folder. So cookies in there. Now this is actually the address or the path uh, to this file or this folder. So if I click up, this will take me one step back to the previous folder. And this is the back in the history. So if you just click back, 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 it's going to take you stepwise backward or this is the forward icon. So backward or forward. Or you can jump to any other specific location. So for example, if I want to jump back to local C drive, so it's going to take me back to C drive again. And if, if I want to jump forward to cookies folder, so it's going to take me forward back to the uh, cookies folder. If I click up, it's going to take me one level up. And if I click the search icon, this will display a search uh, window in here and search for music and video files, pictures, search for documents, spreadsheets, stuff like that, search for any other files and folders, search for computers and stuff like that, search the internet 
and some more options. So if I click uh, search pictures and movies, let's say I want to search for pictures and photos and video files and then click on the search icon. So this will start searching your entire drive uh, for the stuff in there. If you stop the searching or click back, go back, you can search for any specific file. For example, let's say uh, I want to search for a file called goost.xz. This is all are part of the file name and then click on the search button. So it's going to search the desktop area. It says one file found in this area, in this folder. So if you just click on the file name and say, uh, let's say uh, select open the containing folder. So this will open the folder uh, in my computer in which you have that file. So you can search for further files and you can see uh, that file in there in this uh, document root. You can click up, 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 back to the previous levels if you want. Close it now. Similarly, you can search for any file. For example, I want to search for something, uh, a file in which I have a phrase like hello. So this will search for all the files that contain the word hello in that. For example, I will make a simple notepad file on my desktop. Click right, new, open a text document, name it, say test1, open the file and then type H-E-L-L-O and save the file, close it. So if you just search again, say hello search for any file that contains hello so it says test one is a file on the desktop that contains the word hello just open it yes this was the file that contains the word hello so you can just type any phrase or any word uh, that you want to search in a specific document and these are the folder options this will show you the list of the folders uh, in your computer for example if I want to see my computer and then it will show me a list of the files and documents in there say c drive it's a kind of a tree uh, in which i can jump from one branch to another branch uh, from one folder to another folder and subfolders and stuff like that for example this is the folder it has subfolders and then i can go to further subfolders you see the plus icon and the minus icon when you click on the minus one this will actually close the tree to the default root if you just click the plus it's going to open the tree uh, to the uh, any other subfolders so this is the folder option this one is a kind of uh, changing the view for your desktop layout for example if i say details so it's going to give me a new view say, saying the name of the folders in the files in there the size of the files in there the type of the media for example i have this one as viserv is a file name it's a 1 kb size it's a text document file this is the type of the file and there this is the modified that so if you click on the details you will see the layout in this uh, way if you click on the list <coughs> you will see a different layout for the same uh, folder if you click iconize or icons so if you iconize this uh, option, you will see sort of icons on the layout in the window. So you can change the layout to icons, tiles, say if you say tiles, it's going to make you tile sort of layout. And if you say thumbnails, it's going to give you thumbnails for each and every folder. The thumbnails is especially recommended for the folder that contains uh, some pictures. Uh, for example, I have a folder in here like say uh, documents and settings and if you just go to the administrator folder uh, and administrator documents, 
okay, let me check uh, the smart documents in here. Okay, and uh, some images or pictures in there. Uh, let's say I have uh, some pictures in there. So I can just change the layout to details or list or icons or tiles or thumbnails or film strip which is right now this one I can change to any other folder if I want so this is actually the view now if you just have a look at the file folder in there uh, let me jump back to the up C root my computer and let's uh, go to C drive okay so now have a look at this, these menus in the clause and undo cut copy paste select all invert your selection let's uh, just try this one uh, for example I will make a test folder in the new folder uh, my test folder this is my test folder I will do some practice in there so I'll just make a folder by the name test1 another folder by the name test2 I will actually copy some files let's say the ghost folder and I'll click on the copy and then I will say paste in there so copy paste is a kind of option if you want to make further copies of any specific uh, document or folder let's say this is a folder by the name ghost and I want to make further copies of this folder so I can just copy it and, and then paste it into any desired location on my computer uh, let's say if I have a new file say text document testing file and I say testing file testing file testing file save it now I just wanna cut the file and paste it into test1 folder so when I paste it actually it moves the file from the parent folder into the test1 folder so it's a kind of a difference between the copy and the paste option if you just say copy and paste it means you want to have further copies of the similar folder if you say cut and paste it means that you want to copy the and uh, copy the folder to any specific location or if you say cut and cut and paste so it, you want if, uh, it means that you want to actually move the specific folder or file to any other location so these were the basic options uh, that uh, you can perform uh, from the edit menu if you say undo move so this will bring the file back from the test one folder it was in here and then it now goes back to its previous location you can even drag and drop like say just click the left mouse button and keep it pressing and drag it the f uh, to any other folder this is also equivalent to the uh, cut and paste method if you say undo move it's going to come back to the previous location uh, this is the cut copy paste and paste shortcut is a kind of option for example if I want to say okay copy and then if you say paste shortcut so it means that I want to have the file on its original location which is actually this folder the file is in there but if I open the file from here this is the same file which is in there if I modify the file say 1 2 3 in the file and if I save it and close it 
and then again open the file from this location this is the same file 1 to 3 so it means that if you just have a shortcut to a file the, f the actual file is on its own position uh, and then you can just open the file from any other location uh, on the shortcut now copy to any other specific folder or move to any other specific folder you can do it from this menu as well for example if I want to have a copy of uh, the testing file so copy to folder you can browse on this tree to any folder you want say I want to copy it to khan folder just click on the copy or if you want to make a new folder in there click make new folder for that file for example I want to have a new folder on D drive by the name testing testing 2 and copy so this file have a copy from this location into my computer D drive and on the other location by the name testing 2 folder so I have copy f in there as well these are some basic options in there. Now this is a kind of a view, view toolbars. These are called the toolbars. Uh, you can just customize the view of your my, doc my computer in here. Say standard buttons. If you uncheck it, you won't see any buttons in here anymore. And if you say address bar, you won't see any address bar in there. If you click toolbars and then say lock the toolbars. Let me fast display the toolbars in there these toolbars are kind of uh, toolbar that are customizable you can actually uh, move the stuff from one location to another location uh, there's a link and let me unlock unlock the toolbars so let me move it from here to this location and from this location to this location so I can just change the position of the toolbars uh, if it is unlocked this is not if I say lock the toolbar now I cannot move them from this current location so let me bring them back to the default location say I just want to move this top of it just bring them down to its default location and if you want to close the links in there and check it you won't see any links in there anymore uh, this is the status bar. This section is called status bar. So, if you say do not show status bar, you won't see any status bar in there. If you say okay, show me status bar, so you can see the status bar as well. This is the explorer bar, search options, favorites, histories, and uh, other stuff like that. These are the layouts that you can change even from this button or from this menu and this is the arrangement of the icons uh, on your current window and this is the history go to back go to back or say up these are actually the shortcut keys the shortcut keys for actually uh, selecting the back option for example click on the back button in here or click on this menu or on the keyboard say alt plus left arrow like as I do alt plus left arrow so it's going to take you back uh, to the previous window this is another options some links to the websites and this is actually kind of uh, tools uh, map network drive disconnect network drive synchronize and folder option we will discuss the map network drive and disconnect network drive later on uh, when we have some networking portions in these lectures uh, the next one the important one is the folder options in the folder options you will see some uh, some tabs in there that can customize the default layout of your my computer window uh, and also some other options for displaying the, the files the file types and offline files so for example show common task in the folder 
or use classic folder options. You can, you can just change the layout of the folder on uh, my computer. For example, right now we have this one. If I click this one and then apply, so it changes the default layout uh, of the window. I don't see any uh, options on the left side anymore. And if I just click again and say OK, show me the default one and click this one, now I see these tasks uh, in there. This one is uh, browsing the folders. Uh, open each folder in the same window. Let's say uh, if I open this folder, so it opens. This folder opens in the same location. If I open this folder, it opens in the same location again. So I have only one uh, my computer window open, and all the files goes in there. Now I'll go towards the folder options again. Now if you just click open each folder in its own window and apply this option and then you open different folder, you will see a different folder for different window for every folder in there. For example, if I open this one, I open this one, I open this one. So every subfolder has its own window on top of the parent one. Folder one. I'll just keep it on the default layout. If you want to have single click to open any folder or any other item. Uh, so you can just click single click and apply. You will see them underlined and when you place the cursor it will automatically select that folder for you. If you click it, one click will open that folder. I will just sit back to the default one. This is the view. You can customize the layout and view of the my computer window. For example, automatically search for network folders and printers. Display file size information in the folder tip. Let's say I have a folder in the on the desktop. So keep the mouse on top of that folder and you will see a tool tip in there say size 688 kilobytes files in this folder is goose.bat goose.exe and paralink.com so if you want to see these details uh, this option must be enabled this is by the way the default option already checked in there you can disable this if you want to improve the performance of your system uh, this one is the display simple folder display the content of the system folders as well uh, system folder is uh, actually the windows folder the folder in which uh, we have the files of the windows operating system itself and we have some other options for example if you want to see uh, show hidden files and folders this will show you all hidden files on your computer and some other options in there sometimes we uncheck this option use simple file sharing uh, if you want to uh, enable the file sharing on the uh, old default layout on the windows network so then you can share any folder uh, on the user basis on your network these are the file types that are currently registered on your computer uh, it means that which file should be opened by which application for example we have a file type in here say jpeg or jpg that will be opened by this jpeg application or let's say we have a file by the name jsp so any file that is dot jsp will be opened by the dreamweaver mx 2004 you can change uh, the application for this uh, file type if you want 
click to change and select any other application for example I want to open all JS, JSP files on another dream viewer at so click OK from now on all dot JSP files will be opened by the Dreamweaver 8 instead of uh, Dreamweaver MX. So you can change the file type and its association to any other program. These are the offline files. We will discuss them later on when we enable the offline files in the networks. So this was the uh, default uh, My Computer layout. If you just click on the uh, right click open and then uh, you see uh, My Computer in there. So now we want to have some other options for example if you want to say explore this is almost uh, similar uh, layout of your uh, my computer uh, with the folder uh, in there so you will see a list of the folders in there uh, on the left side so you have this uh, explore options in there which is actually this folder uh, button uh, if you click this folder button again you will see this, this tree on the left side uh, which is actually the folder uh, explore option on my computer so if you just click right and say search this will show you again the search uh, for any specific uh, document or file or folders uh, in there and you just click manage this is something very important uh, in the Windows XP management so just click on the manage and you will see a different uh, layout opened it's MMC uh, it's kind of management console and you will see in here uh, the default important task and that you required uh, to keep your system up and running so we have this computer management local it says local Local means that this, these are the configurations of your computer only. This computer management can be also connected on any other computer on the network. Uh, for example, if you want to connect this uh, computer management to any other computer for management, you must log on as uh, the network administrator and then say connect to another computer and then type the IP address of that computer or you can type the computer name for example Innova 2 so when you click OK this will connect to computer Innova 2 and then you will see similar options for their computers right now we have computer management and local so these are the local options uh, for computer management uh, remember one thing uh, in the Windows XP practice if you don't know what to do just click right on any specific item and you will see a pop-up menu uh, by which you can select some options and then you can perform different tasks in there so right now we have these uh, three categories in there the system tools the storage and the services and applications so I'll start from the system tools system tools is a section uh, in which you see some basic tools required for your computer management so the first one is the event viewer event viewer is a kind of a log for the system administrator by which uh, he can observe uh, the system performance for example if I click uh, on this plus icon I, I will see applications security and system for example if I click on the application one I will see some entries in there uh, their details times uh, source by which this uh, log has been generated category the event number and the user and the computer from which this event has been generated right now the computer name is Kifayat this is the name of uh, this computer on which I am actually preparing this lecture and fortunately my name is also Kifayat so I have na named this computer on my name so if you just click on any of uh, these options you will see a detail of this uh, message why we have this message in there you can just click or you can just go up and down as you see in here up and down uh, to any other address for example I have this mysql daemon shut down completely on computer this 
user this blah 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 so you can just uh, go up and down to see the different events uh, log entries in the event viewer for applications uh, in the application sections you will see the logs for the programs that are installed on your computer uh, for the security section you will see the security audit entries uh, for your computer uh, later on when we discuss the uh, local users and groups uh, then we will uh, discuss the security uh, logs later on here you will see some system level uh, logs simply click right on this option and say clear all events if you want to uh, keep this log uh, in a file you can save it in a file say uh, test one or uh, and if you want to just clear it without any saving click no so you will just click these options uh, these logs uh, from the event viewer right now we have no entries this one is the default security audit if you just read it you will see the details in there so we will discuss uh, these other options later on including this uh, share folders local users and groups and some other pyramid parameters and this is enough for this first lecture uh, inshallah we will give you the next lecture soon